I think by making films, I actually do kind of see there is a lot that's cut out and it's not just like, it's not just bloopers or pauses in speech and action. It's things that sometimes are actually kind of more towards your point, but then when you go to edit it down and you have to condense it to three minutes or however long the runtime is for another thing, it's a lot harder to do because you have to figure out, okay, what's more relevant than this and can I edit this out and it still makes sense? And it's actually kind of challenging um, to not only decide but also to edit it so that it looks well, maybe not seamless, uh, at least that it makes sense. And that's very difficult to do uh, with a phone, especially. And filming in public is also really hard to do because you get random people who look at you portraying students playing pool and stuff. <laughs> so just <laughs> or come in and you're kind of just like, oh, Sorry. It's pretty gross. And, blah, meh. and uh, it's just really awkward. Or, you know, when I was filming in the laundry room, my, the lights timed out a few times and I had to retake a few things. They shouldn't really... The lights went out because I'm in the laundry room. A lot of times you're just told the lights went out again because I couldn't use those shots anymore because I also lost my concentration um, and actually kind of a big a big struggle with filming is that you you tend to ramble on and you end up sort of almost missing the point you were trying to make because you get so distracted by other thoughts and words that you say that you're like, oh, and I can build on that, but then you kind of lose track of what you meant to say. It's a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. And I thought that it would be harder to actually make the three minutes, but it's actually harder to condense it all into the three minutes. And it's so much more challenging than I thought it would be.